I think the concept is simple and intuitive and all those things, but I think some people assume it's too hard for women to do, or the doctor thinks it's too hard to monitor. You know, it has taken five years for us to come up with the doctor's clinical practice guidelines because it's such a different way to view menstrual disruption. If something happens to somebody on the Wiley Protocol, you can look up the five different ways to change it and address 20 symptoms. But for you as a doctor, you weren't taught to treat hormone replacement like that. You get rid of the symptoms and you send them out there still deranged hormonally and the insidious processes that go on with losing your estrogen because estrogen controls 3,000 gene products, 300 body processes. So you lose your estrogen, you lose everything. And you send them out there, and that's still going on. Only by band-aiding it or masking it with low-dose hormones, you may, in fact, have, have exacerbated things like proliferation. And I, when I began to examine this, could not imagine why no one wanted to understand what normal was versus what deranged is, because you couldn't possibly go, you know, A is healthy, B is sick, C, if it's an antibiotic, might be back to A, but in no way in metabolic medicine, where we're dealing with physiology and hormones, or whatever, can C be back to A. Well, I always tell women the menstrual cycle is like the computer monitor. You can tell if the software's working. If the monitor's blank, if the monitor's full of squiggly lines, the software's not working. So without a menstrual period to hang some clinical appraisal on along with blood work, I don't know how anybody ever knew if hormone replacement worked. And my favorite part is where women say, well, but I don't want to have a period. And I always look at them, because I'm a little chirpy, and say you can have a period or a walker. You can have a period or chemotherapy. You can have a period or a white cane. You can, because it's a trade-off. You either are fertile and register in the world as a player, or nature takes you out because you compete for the food supply with mothers and babies. So the natural aging process anthropologically is to take you out.